I don't really like lunchtime. Everyone gets to socialize and have fun. And I just get a mushy sandwich. I mean, I'm an everyday student and all, minus the bag. Oh, you must be wondering about the bag by now. Well, I suffer from some strange hereditary condition. Basically, I'm ugly and I do my best to hide. But that doesn't mean I don't want some sort of normalcy in my life. I want friends. I want people to laugh at my jokes. Ready? Hey, lunch bag loser, you got something in your face. <laughs> <laughs> I, guess, uh, I even want a boyfriend too while I'm at it. Chris, get back here! Oh, hello. Hi. So, uh, what are you doing here? Oh, uh... J just reading. Uh, are you always here? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, uh, how about you? What are you doing here? Oh, well, I kind of stole this sombrero from Mr. Lucas. Yeah, I should probably get going now. Oh, okay, bye! Alright, never mind then. Wait. Are we really stuck? Together? But I guess it wasn't all that bad. Well, at least for me it wasn't. Chris, on the other hand. Karen, it's already been four whole minutes. Why aren't you freaking out? And how did you read so fast? All right, whatever. What are you doing? Wait, wait a minute. And... Ow, rude much? Whoa, not bad. All right, you ready? Chris is really sweet. He told me about his playing hobby, and I told him why I wore a paper bag. As cliche as being locked in the closet scene, I still loved every moment of it. Hey kids, you're not supposed to be in here. Get out of here. Uh, yes sir. Uh, sorry. After that, I guess we got a little more friendly? I don't know. I never had friends. It was all very strange for me. I guess in a way, I was beginning to see him as a completely new person. I wasn't sure why he was acting so nice to me either. Maybe he was curious about my paper bag. Whatever it was, he was sweet. I didn't know how he felt about me, but I had a feeling there was something there. Hey, you don't belong here. Get out of here. Oh, okay, sorry. Where are you going? Uh, nowhere. Come on. I know you're going somewhere. Is it a girl? Wait, wait. It's not that lunchback loser, is it? But she's a weirdo! <sighs> no? She didn't really mean anything to me, you know? I just... I just kind of... I felt bad for her. Yeah. Good. Let's go.
honey. It's okay. It's okay. I thought you were different. Oh, honey, I know, I know. But we're ugly. You just have to accept it. Ooh, friends. Karen. Karen, wait. I need to tell you something. Karen, I didn't mean any of that. I was, I was just. No, no, it's fine. I'm used to it. I just thought you were different. You're right. I shouldn't have said any of that, but I even got the airplane from that time. It's not worth it. None of this is. And that's how my story ends. Chris started wearing a paper bag and I gained much more than a friend. Chris was my very first paper love. I realize now it's okay to be ugly. But you know what? Thanks to this paper bag, I was able to find someone who liked me for me. Weird paper bag and all.